Hi everybody, Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. This week's scrapbook layout is one of me and my old friend Tash. We've got a friendship that's nearly 20 years now and um, yeah, all I can say is I'm glad we didn't have mobile phones with cameras when we first started going out and drinking and all that kind of stuff because we have some very funny stories between us. Um, yeah, great friendship. Don't always see each other. Sometimes years can pass. Um, but when we get together, it's as if we'd never been apart. So I saw this photo and I thought I haven't done one of me and Tash before. And um, Tash isn't feeling too well at the moment. So Tash, if you're watching this, get well soon, please, because we've got some Prosecco, which is well overdue and we need to have a good old catch up over a nice bottle of bubbles. So this layout is a really bright, colourful one. It's using the Paige Evans Whimsical Collection. Actually, all I have left are all these scraps because I've done quite a big mini album. That sounds really bizarre, a, a big mini album, but it's something that I've been working on for myself. I haven't actually done a tutorial for it. I may well do one, I'm not sure yet, but this is all the scrap pieces left. So what I wanted to do, I actually found this layout template on Pinterest. And basically the idea is, is that you is to use your scraps. So you cut all these strips. Now I've made up the measurements myself. These are half an inch by three. So the idea is, is I'll have four strips running along the bottom of that 12 by 12 white paper. And you're just going to build up all different layers of all the different papers. So I've just gone through there and cut loads of these half an inch by three inch strips. And then I've just got some scraps of my double sided sticky sheets here and I, I didn't want to break into a brand new sheet. So I'm using all of the little off cuts to try and cover this six by 12 inch area. So the photo is going to sit exactly halfway on that 12 by 12 layout. So I've just got my ruler in there just to check that everything kind of lines up. So I'm just cutting off all these little pieces because I thought I reckon I could cover this whole six by 12 area and I just managed to do it. So I do add a strip of uh, wet glue along the top at the very end. But other than that, it, it seems to cover it all fine. So I'm just peeling off all the backing there and then I start going along and sticking down all of those strips. Trying to make sure that I've got a pattern next to more of a plainer colour or a dark against a light and so on and so forth. So it's, I, at first when I started doing it, I thought, mm, have I chosen the right kind of papers to do this with? But as it started getting further into it and, you know, do, adding more layers, it really came together well. So you can do this with any papers that you might have. It is a really good way to use up scraps and this would work on even your card making backgrounds as well. It's got a kind of herringbone technique to it. I know it's not the herringbone pattern but in terms of using your scraps and strips it's that same process. So now I'm just moving up there. So I've already done those three rows now and I'm just going up and I start repeating that process really and um, yeah just making sure that I don't have two of the same patterns that close to each other um, and so on really. So the kind of blank yellows there and there's a blank pink they were great to you know literally break up any kind of um, really busy papers and stuff and you can see the pink I've laid there is down towards the bottom left so now I've just skipped ahead and you can see how good that looks and it's a really nice way to really show off the papers because sometimes when you can do your layouts I think lots of things get covered this doesn't. I really, really like it. It came together really well and didn't take any time at all, actually. The longest part was probably cutting it all, but sticking it all down was really quick. So now I'm just going to mat and layer my photo. So first of all, I'm going to stick it onto this white cardstock just to give it a nice white frame, just so it's lifted because it's got a really dark background. This was taken in a nightclub, so the background's really dark there. So I needed to frame that a bit better so it didn't get lost on the layout. So I'm just going to trim that one. It's got about a one eighth of an inch border, kind of the standard one that I do really but already there now that just yeah just looks much better so again just going to add some double sided tape to the back of that one and then I'm going to frame it with the gold cardstock because there are pops of gold in the papers that I've used and also in the flowers that I bring in so again it does tie it all together this has become now really strong so it's a really nice kind of you know center piece now of the layout I guess so that's all framed now I'm bringing in these are the die cuts same collections all the whimsical collection so uh, yeah i've got quite a lot of the kind of embellishments and accessories left but not so much of the papers so again i've still got lots of that left on the right hand side there all those strips and i've got some more scraps still so i'll definitely be doing more layouts just to you know make sure I'm, i use this all up really 
So I'm going to be focusing on the flower die cuts for this. So I'm bringing in all of those. And the idea is, is that they're all framed around the photo. So initially I started to put them all behind the photo. And then as I started playing around a bit more, nothing is stuck down at this point. Then I decide to start kind of lifting them up over the photo and actually covering some of the black background because obviously there's no black in any of the papers. So it was, you know, you can see now I start bringing in that big flower in the, on the left and the right, and it does take away a lot of that black background and it just seemed to work better. So the three, I think, yeah, the left and the right and the bottom right corners all have flowers. Actually, no, all four corners, sorry. All four corners will have flowers on the top of the photo. So I'm putting some foam adhesive now on the, the photo itself, just so that I've got the, the room to be able to stick flowers underneath even when the photo's stuck down so i'm just lining that up so it's nice and centered and now i start building up all of those flowers so these ones go on the top and then that'll be the same for like i said all four corners and then the rest of the flowers will all sit nicely underneath so it just kind of balanced it and it, it worked really really well again this is when you've got scrapbooks are easy to do because when you buy a kit or a full collection it's all there for you all the colors have been matched you've got all the correct accessories and embellishments and it just it's easy to do i thoroughly enjoyed this one and i thought it come together so beautifully love it so now my title so this is forever friends which i just thought was quite appropriate and these are those puffy stickers these are the ones that i brought from biology which i shared in my what did i get video a couple of weeks ago and i said that these rainbow ones will match perfectly with this whimsical collection and they do so this is the first time i'm using them so and they stick really well these are so sticky it's loads more than a lot of the other kind of uh, puffy stickers that i've brought in the past so i didn't actually add any glue to these so i've kind of got it roughly where i want it and then I just go over it again in a minute and start. I, they were just literally resting on the paper. So now I was able to kind of lift them and really stick them down. But like I said, they were so sticky. There's definitely no way that they're going to be lifting off. So just making sure that it's really nice and straight and everything is kind of lined up. And then I decided to actually cut into this. So rather than have a lot of that white space, I'm going to cut right around it. So that it's just got a small white frame. And it becomes almost like an embellishment in itself because that's a strong... 300 gsm cardstock that i'm using and then with the obviously the you know the letters on there it, it yeah it just worked out really nice so i preferred it that way so now i'm just sticking that whole piece down and just start to finish off the layout now really so this didn't take no long at all no <laughs> this didn't take long at all it took me about 45 minutes to do so i do kind of like it better when the layouts don't take too long to be honest i don't mind doing a little bit of mixed media and all that kind of stuff but my preference is just good old paper. <laughs> That's what I prefer doing. So now I'm bringing in all the little bits to finish it off. So that is a fabulous little embellishment. Then that's a puffy sticker that says, love this. And I also bring in, no, I was going to bring in, what was the other one? It's just hidden to the right there underneath that paper pack. Uh, oh, looking good. But I decided not to, to use that one, not because we didn't look good, but I just didn't use it. <laughs> so there's a couple of hearts going in. And what else now? Yep, some more hearts there. I've just put some foam adhesive on those ones. So I have that one and then this rainbow one. So although they don't kind of look like you can see them that much in the video, in real life, they do look really good. So I loved them. And now you know what it means. Nouveau drops have come in. So it's the end of the layout. I love bringing these in and I've done some really big ones, some really small ones, and they will dry with a nice little glitter finish to them. And I also, you'll see in the photos in a moment, I forgot to use the actual enamel stickers that come in the kit. So in the videos next, you will see those also added in amongst all of those little Nouveau drops. But there you can see, you can see kind of the glimmer from the gold that's in the paper as well. But um, here you should be able to see now I've added those like little red hearts some stars. And I love it. And I hope you love it too, Tash. I hope this gives you a, a nice big smile and cheers you up a little bit. So, and uh, yeah, hope you guys like it as well. I hope it's inspired you all. I love colourful layouts. I must admit, these kind of layouts are the best to do. That's just me. I love colour and the brighter the better. So, yeah, I will share any links in my blog to where you can get this from. It's I purchased mine from Louise at Thompson's Craft Supplies and I believe it is still available, the whole kit. So I will share those links and I will do a little blog for this one as well. So I hope you all have a lovely rest of your weekend and I'll be back again on Monday with another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.